so 205 the how wide is the tire 60 is this how thick and 16 is the rim so it should the 60 as uh, it should be at least 40 uh, because uh, if it is like 30 so the handling will be good but it will be dangerous for your rim may because if you just uh, hit any any object on the road or the curb so maybe you can break your rim okay so 30 um, they have their disadvantages and 60 okay if it is like 80 205 80 so it will be like very big and the car will be like bouncy bouncy so the handling will be not good in 30 the handling will be good but you will be driving very carefully so the 60 or 70 that's uh, 50 60 70 that's a very good figure for handling and also the safety of your car and rim so always go for this middle one figure uh, from 50 60 and 70 my car is 60 so i'll go for the 60 on it yeah for the 60 yeah for the 60 tire so 205 60 60 yeah and about the ears we'll go for the new tires uh, the tires about the tires um, 205 60 16 205 is the white 60 is this area 60 percent of the 205 60 percent like how thick is this and 16 is the rim okay the next thing when you buy the tire so go for the branded one like uh, Michelin Continental Goodyear and for search your wholesaler that is there any wholesaler shop tire shop wholesale tire shop in your area or no uh, okay uh, then how many years uh, the maximum the tire you can use is 10 year more than 10 years you can't use and it's better to change with the normal driving every five year uh, and it's mostly with the dot dot mean uh, department of transport dot mean department of transport is some american abbreviation something so sometimes they have written this one wwx j b p r if someone know this so please put in my comment that what this mean what the month and what the year of this but for the others who don't know that like me that uh, we want to know what's the year the made manufacture year of this tire so it's the front of the tire so we should also try to check at the back of tire so it's here another dot you see dot and it's the same thing but 2316 mean 23rd week and 16 2016 and it's 2024 and still this tire is good you see still this tire is good it's a brand because it's a branded car it's a branded tire sorry and it's a good year good year assurance good year assurance so that's why the people go for the brand word if it is a chinese tire so i don't think they can last like from 2016 it's almost eight year of this tire and still it's good now i'm thinking to change it this good year tire is uh, not uh, not cheaper than 150 dollar each tire and mostly it's like 180 like that but let's see maybe i'll buy again the good year or some other one like michelin or continental what other brand? Dunlop is also good. Japanese Dunlop. Yeah. I don't know about the Chinese uh, tires, which like uh, fifty dollar. Fifty dollar. Then brand new tire, fifty dollar. The Chinese one, like Winron and Composer, like that. But I know some people say uh, they slip, uh, they slip, and some of I was watching the review so people put in the review that that mm, go tear and wear start even five or six months after five and six months in 
uh, you have we will have to buy another year back in the second year new tires some one of the person put the review that it was blast so I don't know some of say it's okay uh, one of the guys say I bought new that uh, Chinese tire and then I sold my car and till the two months it was good so here and just for two months but most of them they say if you buy uh, tires just buy for a hundred dollar tire like uh, 110 150 because the Chinese tire fifty dollar each but they're not gonna last uh, longer uh, what was the other thing the other thing the branded tire but uh, four or five years old so the shelf life of the rubber the shelf life of the rubber is about six year to ten year so if a tire is in the shop for six year I mean the rubber is expired so don't buy the expired rubber tire yes it will looking very good and the tire shop will give you like 150 or four of them like mean 40 dollar tire but it could be like four year old or five year old uh, it will be like uh, looking very good and they will tell you like look the mechanic check this thread and then they'll give you the pink slip but it's not about the pink slip it's about the safety uh, like it start wumbling uh, slipping blast so don't buy three or four year old and you uh, look like new but three or four year old the cheaper one just sell money and buy the uh, current like now it's 2024 so buy the 2024 tire not 2020 2018 or 2015 or 2018 like this don't go for those tires just buy the new tire if you buy if you can buy if you can afford a car so definitely then you can afford like $500 tires new tires so that's about all the driving yeah okay okay guys thank you thank you and then any other opinion about these Chinese tires or the Chinese new tires or the old the old tires if you have your experience then you can share thank you bye